what we're gonna do right now is a really fast check on these bees. The thing with honeybees, I'm, I'm here in my dad's backyard. Um, the thing with honeybees, and one of the reasons we haven't got them yet, is because they, just like any livestock, they take a lot of checking and maintenance to make sure they stay healthy. And uh, especially in recent years, it's been really hard to keep hives alive. What did you just smash right there? Uh, that was a large uh, wax beetle moth. And they lay eggs on, the, on your wax and they'll completely destroy it. So, you know, you have to protect your livestock and he's a predator. So, this is a feeder. And one thing that I do is, um, this is a sugar feeder. And I feed them sugar water so they can build up their stores for winter. And one of the problems with uh, bees are the small high beetle. And the small high beetles like to hide underneath this. So I'll go in here and take this up. And there's, I don't know if there's any small high beetles in there. There aren't. We're looking down into the hive here. This, let's see if there's any beetles in there. No, I don't see any. The way a lot of people lose hives is they have hives that are weakened um, by mites. So the populations of bees are weakened by mites and then um, during the winter, um, it, it could be a combination of a hive weakened by mites and a hive that doesn't have enough stored food. So going into the fall, you're looking at how is the population of bees? You're looking at on a sunny day, do they have, is there a good number of bees flying in and out traffic? Does the hive have a queen? Which that's the whole thing in and of itself. Um, and also how much honey do they have put away in these lower boxes? These lower boxes down here never come off the hive. A lot of beekeepers going into the winter will feed some sugar water to their bees to make sure that these boxes are full and you can see he's lifting it. How does yeah, it feel? It feels pretty good. I'm gonna probably give him some more sugar water. Though. Okay. I got a few more. So he's checking the weight. A hive like this, if it's full, if these boxes are full of honey going to the winter, it's gonna weigh, I'm guessing, 70, 80 pounds, pretty heavy. Right, yeah. And so um, another thing you can look at is the type of activity in the front of the hive here and uh, just a, a real quick check on how the bees are doing with mites is how many bees are dead on the ground in front of the hive. You're always gonna see bees out here that are dead, always, always, and you can, you can sometimes, like this one here is not dead, but it's not gonna live. And that can be from all kinds of things, from mites um, chewing on them, from old age, they've been thrown out. Um, you'll see right here, a yellow jacket is working on killing this or, or eating this dead bee. And that's normal. Something you wouldn't want to see though is yellow jackets actively going in and out of the hive um, unimpeded and that would be the sign of a weak hive and the, the yellow jackets or other honeybees um, could also be coming in and out and taking, robbing honey and there could be a lot of, if there was a lot of fighting right here, um, that would be a sign that this hive is weak and the other hive would actually could actually be coming in and robbing honey. Is all that accurate? Absolutely, yeah. A yellow jacket just went in though. But <laughs> <laughs> just one though. There's not like a no, bunch I, of it, activity here with that. This is a strong hive, but he did go in. Yeah. Just the fact that we're actually able to sit here beside this hive, first of all, it means that the, the bees genetically are relatively docile. But if there was a lot of robbing activity, where this hive was weak and another hive like this one over here, the bees were coming in and stealing honey out, which would be a sign of this hive being weak, we'd pretty much not be able to sit here because the bees would be mad, they would be buzzing all around, we would be getting stung. It would not be this calm in and out activity that we see in front of this hive. If you look in the top of this one, right off you can see there's more bees. They, they, this could get interesting here. Yeah. Just be prepared to run <laughs> if they come after you. Or get stung. I love the smell of these. Yeah, it smells think, so good. 
I think a, a good so a sign of a healthy hive is it smells really good. And they're they're making um, goldenrod honey right now, and that has kind of a sour smell. I'm just looking for small hive beetles. Um, the beetles themselves are innocuous, but it's the larvae get into the honey and the the comb, and they'll just tunnel through the comb, mm. and they'll it'll start leaking. Oh, the damage! And then it, it runs down, and then it stimulates robbing and. There, there, there's some small hot beetles. Great. Yep, Couple. I see them. There's three of them. Yeah, I'm gonna smash them. Okay. See, they kind of. There they go. There's a mad bee in my face. A little, a little annoyed bee. You got four so far. There's one more. There's a yellow jacket trying to run down in there. Let's see how he does. You see him? He's right there. What are they gonna do to him? Oh, that bee chasing them off. He's looking for sugar or something, honey, anything. Just weak bees. Yeah. So what we've done today is just a really cursory check of these two beehives um, going into the winter. You would wanna do a little more uh, extensive check. Definitely make sure both hives had queens going into the winter. Um, their populate their bee the the bee population looks pretty good so we, there's no reason to think that either one of these hives is queenless the reason we wanted to shoot this video is just to kind of give you a little peek into the, the this is the answer of why I don't have bees yet and we may get them we may get them soon uh, you can have one of these <laughs> <laughs> I can have one of these that's the thing is that it's not a it's not a lack of an ability to get them that we haven't gotten them it's us knowing it takes a lot of checks, a lot of checks through the years. You have to get a lot of things right if you want to have a beehive that doesn't die. If you have one beehive, your chance of that beehive surviving for years on end in the current state of things with honeybees is actually, I would say, very low. You know, I've heard of beekeepers around the country. Some of them do really well and some of them, um, some of these years have had 50% losses of their colonies. And these are experienced beekeepers who've been doing this for years, who know what they're doing. Um, I've already last, lost one this year. Yeah, one out so, of three. Yeah. yeah. And so that's why we don't have hives right now. But this is also, you know, what makes a successful beekeeper is having bees on your back porch where you can check them <laughs> every day. <laughs> You'll see he has this advanced setup of electric fence that has a like a horse killing charger on his electric fence. And then he has a grounded electric, a grounded mat down here for the bear to stand on as it touches the fence. And then this hive over here is just completely outside. Well, this was a swarm. Uh -huh. And I, so I caught it in a tree over there. Yeah. And then I moved it down here and I just haven't got it inside yet. Yeah. So he, to move this hive from there to there, if you took this hive and threw it over there now, it would cause utter confusion for the bees. You could either move it like three miles down the road, which would be no problem, or you would have to move it like a foot at a time for the bees to adjust so they always came back to the right hive. It, it took probably two weeks to move it from that end of the deck to this end of the deck. And we only moved it that much a day. The other reason I wanted to make this little video was just to show you that beekeeping, bees are not scary. For those of you who, who would have that perspective, bees are not scary. Um, getting stung isn't scary. Having, you can have bees on your back porch like this. Unless you're we, yeah, unless you're allergic. We come over here all the time though. We do not get stung by these hives. We eat, we, the, bee, the hives are there and we'll be eating right over here with all the kids. No one's getting stung. The bees are calm. We're happy. We're calm. We're going on a date. We're going on a date. Y'all have a great day. This has been another great day off the homestead.